The National Football League has put itself in a sticky position with fans. They've alienated the Liberals by not forcing a team to sign Kaepernick, and they've alienated the Conservatives by allowing their millionaire players to disrespect the national anthem. No doubt they were originally just trying to stay out of the whole mess, but that hasn't worked out for them. The league may not be where the problem started, but they're the stage where all of this is playing out, and they're paying the price. Whatever frustration that the NFL had with their players was doubled when they found out the devastating news that came in after just weeks of playing. It turns out that Americans are able to make a difference by boycotting because the viewing numbers don't look good? There's some debate as to whose boycotting is actually making a difference, but regardless, somebody is losing money over this. Sports Media Watch compiled all the numbers from last week's broadcast statistics. For the second straight week, the NFL on CBS sank double digits from last year. The Week 2 NFL single-header window delivered an 8.4 rating and 14.5 million viewers on CBS Sunday, down 24% in ratings and viewership from last year on Fox, 11.0, 19.2M, and down 14% and 13% respectively from 2015 on CBS, 9.8, 16.7M. The 8.4 rating is the lowest for the Week 2 single-header since at least 1998. The first two NFL windows on CBS this season have both declined double digits to multi-year lows. Sunday's telecast featured Patriots Saints, called by CBS rookie lead analyst Tony Romo, in 41% of markets, including Dallas featuring Worth, where he played his entire career. That is an almost 20-year low, and it's really bad news for the league. Obviously, the season isn't over yet and things could still turn around, but at this point, it's obvious that the original dip in numbers wasn't just an anomaly, people really are upset and taking it out on the league. Mike Network also reported on the plummeting numbers, but they've got their own idea about what is causing the dip in virtual attendance to the games. The National Football League's TV ratings have continued to dwindle so far this season, but Chicago bar owner Kenny Johnson says his business has been surprisingly better since he vowed not to show NFL games until a team signs Colin Kaepernick. The socially conscious free agent quarterback remains unemployed so far this season, but his 2016 national anthem protests continue to inspire other NFL players to perform their own symbolic displays against racism and police brutality. Many NFL fans, including Johnson, who refuses to show league games at his two restaurants in the Windy City, have vowed to boycott the league indefinitely over its alleged blackballing of Kaepernick. Those are the social justice warriors that are ticked off about the league's stance on Kaepernick. Their theory is curious though because they're blaming the entire league for their new mascot not getting to play this season when it's really the fault of individual teams who are in signing this third-string quarterback. Are they hoping the NFL will cave and force a team to sign him? Do they want him to be signed on social justice brownie points alone? It seems that they would have better luck getting their heads together and picking a team that they want to sign the less than desirable player and trying to put pressure on them that way. All of that notwithstanding, they did admit that it may not be complete because of CK fans that the numbers are down. They're willing to give part of the credit to the weather. TV business analysts have attributed several non-Kaepernick-related causes for the NFL's viewership drop. Industry observers, including Deadline, Blamed Florida's Hurricane Irma evacuations for the league's September 7 Thursday night opener ratings decline of 12% from 2016. Yahoo Finance credited a rise in hurricane-related cable news coverage in the weekend box office boom for Stephen King's It Remake for the Sunday, September 10 viewership slump. The hurricane may be to blame for a few of the problems that the league has, but it certainly can't make up the entire deficit that the league has suffered over the first few weeks of the season. The other logical reason would be that those who don't agree with the disrespect that many of the players are showing to the national anthem is what's to blame for the downturn in viewership. Fewer eyes on the TV means less advertising money and a decreased bottom line for the league, and you can bet they're not going to let that go on for long. Wall Street analysts already have voiced their concerns about the potential long-term ramifications of the league's viewership woes, even if the NFL's ratings still far exceed those of any other competing telecast. And as for the anthem protests, they're still going strong. Players like Seattle Seahawks defensive end Michael Bennett and Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins have taken the activist torch from Kaepernick this season and are continuing to run with it in the face of opposition. The reason for this debate is because change is going to happen. Anytime a major corporation starts hemorrhaging money, they will figure out how to fix it. 
if they determine that Kaepernick's supporters are the ones causing the downturn in viewership, they will find a way to get him back on a team. But if it's the Americans who want to see a positive change toward respect and patriotism that are making the difference, the league might just say that their field is no place for political statements. It's up to you to decide who you think is causing the decrease in NFL viewers, but let me just leave you with some visual aids. Here's the pro Kaepernick slash NFL protest that happened in NYC to try and pressure the league to give him a place. Now let's check out a picture of NFL fans in their natural habitat. And just to keep it fair, let's go with the New York Giants. Same city and in theory the same people who should have shown up at the protesting for their buddy Kaepernick. Does that look like the same crowd to you? No, not to me either. That means that if the Kaepernick fans aren't the ones boycotting the NFL, it must be the people who are disgusted with his anti-American race-baiting shenanigans.